first off, uh, before we get into the video, I just want to apologize. I was looking at this, editing this in post. Didn't realize that the cable is dying on my camera that attaches to the computer. So this podcast that we did um, that I'm chopping up right now, the footage is going to look a little funky. But please pay attention to the message. I think the message is very, very important. Thank you. That I just have to get off. You know what I'm saying? So yesterday, I show speed one of the top streamers in the world went on his YouTube stream and it had 267,000 people on there. While he was on the stream at a soccer game, uh, a, a Chinese man got in the periphery of his camera. Bro, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back. Why you got on Argentina, bro? And in that time, I show speed, you know, says some racist jokes to the Asian man. First he said, uh, Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa. No, no, Chinese, Chinese. Konnichiwa, Argentina. Started talking to him in Japanese, and then the Chinese guy He's said, hey, I'm not Japanese, I'm Chinese. And he didn't really understand English like that. So I showed speed, said, oh, Ching Chong, one, 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 right, like that. Chinese, no Konnichiwa. Fine, fine, fine. That is unacceptable. I mean, it's a joke, I understand, you know what I'm saying? People joke, I've been around black people all my life, and black people joke like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've never but here's the that issue, man. Here's when double standards come into play, because a Chinese man, a 17-year-old Chinese guy, a YouTuber. I, I just want to stop and add, like, I like how he's doing a video about racism and stereotypes, while also blatant stereotypes. That's how black people joke. That's not how black people not joke. The black average people joke no, like that. that is not how the average black person jokes. I have not heard Ching Chong and Chinese jokes. Bro, that that shit got played out in the 90s. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like that that shit is so removed from being the norm. Now, if you want to say in the 90s, like bro, everybody on the world was saying some wild stuff. People mm -hmm. were saying like gay slurs, all type of I ain't saying it's right. But what I'm saying is like we're so removed from that being the norm and it's like we're going to talk about it because there's this growing narrative of, of, of society about to try and paint black people as being a racist and oppressive. And we are the big bad guys. And then at the same time, telling us to get over our stuff that happened in our past, even though our trauma is far more recent and lasted way longer than others. But we're supposed to get over it and we're being treated as the big bad wolves. I don't like it. We're going to talk about it. The hypocrisy. I don't like it. Let's let's click this again. Though. Or to go on his YouTube stream and mock an African person. Oh my God, it would go crazy. It would go viral. He would be canceled. I don't think anybody would ever watch his YouTube channel again, but- You are full of crap. That's a lie. <laughs> PewDiePie was caught calling people the hard ER twice. Apologized for the first time and then other white people forgave him for, for saying something that, that, that impacted black people. Mm -hmm. And they forgave him and he went on and went forth and did it. He did it again and went forth and still became one of the biggest streamers. Gucci and, and Balenciaga and all these companies come out and do racist stuff to our black people and it's good. Gucci came out and did a blackface where they have the, the, the hood that you you pull up or whatever and it's supposed to be like blackface and it looks like um, them racist like Aunt Jemima jokes or whatever yeah. with the lips being all big mm -hmm. and people got over it. They just, they just moved on about their life. So this belief that if you disrespect black people, that you are done and you are canceled is the biggest nonsense. It's a blatant lie. We are disrespected and violated all the time. And every time the person bounces back, now if you disrespect gay people, you're done. You disrespect, the only person I've seen surviving violating the LGBTQ is Boosie. And, and I don't <laughs> understand. I mean, like he, he's literally the only person I've seen survive that. But anybody else that violates the LGBTQ usually, you're done. You're cooked. It's over. Mm -hmm. You 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 abuse a woman, you put your hands on a woman, you're cooked. You're done. You're over with. Chris Brown's still dealing with it to this day. There's a lot of things that if you do, you will get canceled. And we see people violate black people. At, at, we're at the very bottom of the totem pole. Yep. We, we, we literally have fought for anti-lynching bills and they got kicked around for years. COVID-19 kick off and they had an anti-Asian hate bill popped off in like a year or two. Probably less than that. Probably less than that. Y'all y'all got a bill that protected y'all against hate crimes within a year and we've been looking for the same thing for decades. Like don't play with me. Don't don't play me play me with like don't just say stuff and then I see black people in this dude comments talking about you preaching brother. I get it. I get I it. Saw that Stop too. that. Stop. You know, edgy if you believe this, 
genuinely educate yourself bro because it, it, i say this all the time black people we are at the bottom of the totem pole mm -hmm. we are the only group that allow people to give us symbolic bullshit instead of actually giving us something of substance that will actually help us when george floyd died you motherfuckers painted streets put up statues and did all type of bullshit and and, and at the end of the day nothing came of it substantial no police reform happened all they did was defund a couple police departments and that, that fucking budget gonna go back up eventually it's only temporary they they no police reform no systems put in place where if a person is fired for misconduct they can't go to another state and get hired nothing of substance actually happened we get symbolic bullshit so don't play me with the whole oh uh if black people get disrespected we're gonna cancel them yeah black people gonna bitch complain and, and groan and then mm -hmm. people gonna give us symbolic bullshit and play us left and act like they care and then the shit gonna fade away because we are incapable of locking in on something and forcing change and everybody else sees it so we don't have a seat at the table do not play with me this is this we're gonna get into china mac i'm gonna dissect this shit because this dude is a goofy a clown and i'm very passionate about this sub subject as a black person because you cannot tell me we don't we were literally just voting about they, you seen them states that were just voting to to abolish slavery yeah. to get rid of legal slavery we were just voting to get rid of slavery and there were countries i mean not countries there were states that said no their people voted against it there we literally just had a, a vote in our in states to get rid of slavery are you fucking kidding me in 2022 we're voting on slavery still china mac bro get out of here get out of here i'm virtually spitting on everything that you're doing right now spitting on it you are crazy you have lost your mind here we have it. People are saying, well, he's only 17 years old, Mac. He's only 17. Give him a break. Well, guess what? Okay. 17. I was 17 before. I did a lot of stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? 17, when I was 17, China Mac at 17 is not China Mac now. You know what I mean? So I understand. I get it. But guess what? Guess who else was 17? Jerry Jones. If you don't know who Jerry Jones is, he's the Cowboys owner who is catching crazy slack right now because of a picture that um, they found of him at a school where a bunch of white kids were stopping black kids from going entering the school. And Jerry Jones was in the picture in the back somewhere. And because of just being in the picture, which I don't agree at all, I think everybody in that picture is wrong. I think that whole picture is wrong. But if Jerry Jones was wrong, at 17, then why isn't I show speed wrong at 17? He's clearly making people feel uncomfortable. Yeah, you might come on. Come on. You don't you don't see this nonsense? You don't see this Is nonsense? He seriously trying to compare Did you just compare an uh, did you just compare a kid be a, a young dude. I ain't gonna say a kid because he, I mean he's still 17. He's not even an adult yet, right? Mm -hmm. Or not how old he's is not he? He's not legally an adult. He, yeah, he's a young dude. Are you seriously comparing that? to white people standing during, se like enforcing segregation after it was outlawed to stop black people from going to somewhere and physically intimidating them. Are you, are you seriously making that comparison? Are, like, like I, I'm not saying that what I show speed did was right. Mm -hmm. Should he be held accountable and Absolutely. somebody check him? Absolutely. Yeah, somebody should check him and say, speed, bro, you can't do that. You're always doing stupid stuff. You can't do that. I get it. But but this narrative that China Mac is trying to tie into it and, and they're trying basically what they're what they're trying to do is they're trying to take black people. Right. Because black people, we talk about the things that's been done wrong to us and how we were never given equity and fair chances and all these things and redlining and, and, and how we the war on drugs and the damage that the, 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 the 80s and the 70s had on our our people. Mm -hmm. when we talk about those things. Right. They're trying to undermine it and make Asian people out to be the new victims. Where it's like Asian people can't, oh man, black people are oppressing Asian. What the, where's this narrative coming from that black people are oppressing Asian people? I don't like that shit because I'm starting to see it often and it's straight up ridiculous. It don't make sense. Now, now China Mac wants to talk about I show speed. At, at seven. This is this what blows me because one thing I hate is as I hate these reformed criminals who come out that want to be activists for their people mm -hmm. and start race wars and, and push division on people when it's like, bro, at, at I show speed age, you was doing far worse than that. <laughs> and, and my thing is, my brother, you a few years. First off, China Mac looks like he about 40. Let, let, hold on, hold on. Let me let me see how much how old China Mac is. Let's 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 look this up. China Mac is 40 years old. China Mac is 40 years old. All right. A few years ago, China Mac was doing an interview talking about how how he still uses the N word. Now he's forty right now. Let, let's 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 listen. Hopefully, Vlad don't 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 cancel 
don't don't uh don't don't uh get this this video when blocked because if you use anything of Vlad, he usually blocks it no matter how short it is. But hopefully, I can get this off. Let's 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 talk about this real quick. You, you know, when I was listening to music and you know when we talk and so forth, is you actually use the N word. I use it here. I try I try not to use it, but I do use it. Okay, and why is that? That word was always used around me, right? And um. When I used the word, it was never like in a way that was derogatory or meant any 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 malice or any you know disrespect to any group of people, um, and it was accepted. Like I I did prison time all over the place, right? Maximum state prisons, all over. Been around killers, been around, every, and I always used the word, right? Um, some people sometimes. Like, an older person would tell me, like, yo, they don't feel comfortable with me using that word. And, and how would you react when they tell you that? I would say, you're right. You know what I mean? And then um, I, 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 would, I would respect it. But when So someone is telling you they don't feel comfortable with you using a word. And you say, you know what? You're right. But you keep using the word. But you're still using the word. Now, mind you. Now, mind you. This, this, is, this is China Mac three years ago. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the guy that's trying to hold I shall be accountable for saying racist jokes, which I, I, I'm not saying they're right. Mm -hmm. But you and your grown age was still using the N-word as of three years ago at 37 years old. Mm -hmm. how, how dare you try to create division when you're still walking around his, uh, 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 pushing a slur mm -hmm. that, that you think is justified because you hung out with black criminals and black no lives. Yeah, because you, you hung around broke, poor black people or, or black people that, that are just looking for an opportunity to where they won't let, they'll let stuff like this slide without checking you. You, you, let, you, let, you do stuff like this, but you want to talk about I show speed mm -hmm. saying, saying, saying race, like pretending to speak Chinese and he doesn't know Chinese. You want to compare that when you were sitting here saying the N-word and you rap the N-word, you say the N-word, like it was, it was another, he was on his other dude podcast. I forgot the dude's name. But basically, it was an Asian dude up there that said the N-word. Mm. So the Asian dude said the N-word. The host told him, like, stop saying the N-word. He said the N-word again. The host smacked him. Like, bro, you're, you're embarrassing us. Like, and you said this in public. You're embarrassing me. Like, like bro, you can't be saying that. Mm -hmm. He came up there basically with his, his muscle, another black dude, and was like, yeah, yeah, I hear that. But you, would you smack me for saying the N-word? Would you smack me? Standing on the N-word usage. Like, yeah, I don't use it no more like that. But would you smack me for saying the N-word? Standing up on behalf of the Asian dude. So it, it's crazy. You, you care about racism and you care about people, you know, being politically correct. But when it came to one of your Asian people saying the N-word, you was ready to stand about that. Right. You was ready to go hard. I don't, I don't like this, this narrative that, that is being created, that black people are the big bad bullies now. Right. It's just straight up BS. We don't hold financial. We don't hold power. We're, we're amongst the poorest group in the country. We don't, we don't hold wealth. We don't control nothing. Mm -hmm. We're not out here beating the life out of Asian people on a regular basis like they are trying to paint just, this narrative. You know, it's just it not true. Like, yeah. It's not true. Yes, would you have certain groups that hurt other people? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, but you have it that happens. at any race. That's not just in a black community. Come That's on in now. any race. Come, come on now. And then, and then they were talking about, well, what about in New York when black people was beating up Asian people because they were, they were scared of, of COVID and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, bro, crime what? happens based off of, of majority of crimes happen based off of vicinity mm -hmm. where people will fight somebody and, and do something, right? And in the moment that there's different races fighting, they're going to always bring race into it, mm -hmm. whether it was about race or not about race. Mm -hmm. and, but, my, my, but the thing that just blows me, though, is just the hypocrisy here. You are a lifetime criminal who spent 10 years in prison for shooting somebody in the back in a crowded club. And, and you admitted out your own mouth that you tried to shoot that person in the head. Do I have that clip open? Turned around and I pulled out the hammer immediately. And then like I had the hammer in, uh, in the back of his head. Uh, in the back of his head. But this, this is the dude. This is the dude that's trying to hold a career criminal who has, who has probably taken lives. Mm-hmm convicted of trying to take a life and, and has openly admitted that he had a beef with another rapper strictly off of some ego and him just hating stuff that that the other person had to reach out to him just to end the beef like yo you getting out of jail i don't want no beef when you got out of jail let me let me fix it this is the dude that's trying to hold i show speed accountable mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not saying that i show speed doesn't need to be held accountable yeah someone definitely have to tell him like hey bro that's, that's not cool but it don't need to be you 
Yeah. It don't need to be you trying to start a race war and, and divide people and pretend that black people are the big bad wolf that's going after Asian people. You don't got to do that. I mean, Asian people got to worry about you. Mm. You, you, you shooting, you shooting up dudes in his back. You, you, you tried to kill you. You had a beef with Jen, another Asian dude that you were trying to, they need to be worried about you. Right. I, I show speed might be cracking racist jokes and we need to correct that. But brother, you had guns to the back of people's heads trying to kill them. Right. What are you talking about? It, it just blows me. And it's like the, just the audacity of this fool to try to go after a young dude. And it's like, bro, all, all you know what China Mac could have did? He could have reached out to Asho Speed, sent him a message and said, brother, like, I got a following. Let's let even let's let's sit down and chop it up. Let's talk and have a conversation. Mm -hmm. There's a way you go about things. You you trying to incite this this thing. Like I'm telling you, if you pay attention, I want everybody that's listening. If you pay attention to so like just if you don't pay attention, pay attention now. Mm -hmm. You you hear streamers now saying this. There's a dude named Destiny said he's gonna go DefCon on these black these black uh uh content creators because he he feels like the, you know their their racism or this like and it was it was like a select group of people that he was talking about it was like one or two and there's like thousands of black streamers out there and he had a problem with one or two and he was trying to paint it out to where he was going to wage war on black people there is this growing narrative and it's like if y'all allow it to grow it's just going to explode mm -hmm. and, and and we already don't have enough as is right i refuse to sit back quiet and allow this narrative to grow as if black people are the big bad wolf and we're oppressing and we're abusing and we're doing people all type of dirty all right, mm -hmm. right we're, we're just not going to do that it's disgusting it's it's like like we've already disgusting. been through enough y'all not about to try to paint more stuff on us to make it seem like we're you know you got everybody is the victims and and you know we're at the hands of that like yeah no. like like there's crazy in every group mm -hmm. if, if i get into a fist fight like you're like bro like don't nobody talk about the fact that all them asians uh, uh at the, the beauty supply stores mm -hmm. remember there was like a two three year span where it was in the news every week that somebody at the beauty supply was beating up a, a black woman yeah they was they was they were accusing women of stealing when they weren't they were ripping women's bags off of them they were punching chicks in the face there's a video of mandy b who went and got her nails done her nails was messed up she told them to fix it they refused to fix it so she said i'm not paying and they the dude chased her up the street was holding her and trying to fight her and her friend and punched her in her face yep they but am said, I going to come out here and say, oh, Asian people, all oh, Asian people, racist, they beating on our black women and stuff like that. When that was literally happening. Yeah. Why it was, was a, that narrative it was another, created then? It was another video um, of like a, a nail salon brawl where like it was like a, a husband and wife on a nail salon. And I don't remember why the fight kicked off, but I think it was something similar. They they messed up the nails or something. Something happened like that. And it was like beating this chick with a broomstick. Yes, I seen that video. I seen them beating that chick with a broomstick. Yeah. yeah, she was trying to like she was trying to get out. And she was trying to leave, and they yeah. was beating her with a broomstick. Yeah, and, and we where where is this narrative that Asian people abuse black women? Where where is that narrative? Yeah, they're just as violent. Like like it's it's and that's the thing. It's violence in every group. So the moment that we start trying to paint it, where it's like black people are are racist against Asians, or Asians are always racist against black people. You know what I'm saying? Like when we when we try to create that narrative all it does is cause division mm -hmm. i mean if we keeping it a buck racism is crazy in china mm -hmm. it, it's it's ironic here that come from china mac when racism is like straight up normal in china mm -hmm. like there are black people you can research the stories don't don't take my word for anything i'm saying but you can research these stories mm -hmm. where you have black people going into places in china and they're straight up like yo no 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 we don't we don't do black people no we don't we don't do that and you got to leave that is still happening in China. So I find it hella ironic that China Mac wants to create this narrative that, that black people have an issue mm -hmm. with, with, with Asian people and that there's this growing culture of black versus Asian. It's just a messed up narrative when it's like, bro, like that culture literally still exists where you come from. And not to be racist. Research it. I don't, I, don't need, I don't need to make nothing up and try to cause division. Right. Research it. Right. But, but stop, stop these narratives. And if anybody needs to check our show speed, it needs, it needs to be somebody of character. Mm -hmm. And if if China Mac would have did it in a more legit way, mm -hmm. I would have been cool with it. But this this dude is constantly calling out black people and going after black people. You want to call the other dude out for smacking the, the Asian dude for for saying the N word? You you got a problem with that? You want to go at Asho Speed for saying the racist word? Cool. All right, you got a problem with that? And then he was going after um, it was somebody else he called out recently. 
for like uh I think the person may have slanted their eyes or did something mm -hmm. like that and he went after the person. You know what I'm saying? And instead of him sitting down having dialogue and educating these people, he just blow it up for beef and clout. He just got into he was into it with AD. They had to run the fade with each other because A A D did a, a, a eating show and mm -hmm. China Mac was talking about an eating show and A D did one and he was like, You stole my idea. Bro, eating shows have been online forever. <laughs> Like, I think Noriega had an eating show before he did Drink Champs or somebody else from down south. It might have been Big Boy. They have or... so many of those things. Like, this is not a new at, idea. Look at Snoop, Snoop and Martha Stewart. Like, they have, they have a Bro, whole people, TV show. And people go that. around eating food. Like, that's not a new <laughs> idea. And he was going after AD because he genuinely felt like AD stole his idea when this idea wasn't even original. It's already no, existed. He's been doing but, that forever. But, and don't nobody call him out. He has a history. Of trying to check black people and hold black people accountable for just the most random of things. Sometimes it's racism. Sometimes it's something as simple as is going to to eat and recording it. But he has this aggression where he feels like he can check black people and hold black people accountable. And it's straight, it's straight garbage. It's straight garbage. It's a nasty narrative. I'm not buying into it. To the people, the black people that are in in his comments saying that I agree with you and I understand, and black people need to get it together. Blah blah. blah. Educate yourself. Right. Educate yourself because people like you are why we get symbolic bullshit and we don't get nothing of substance. Mm -hmm. That is the reason they why. Throw something in your face and you you satis you're satisfied. That's you know, that's and then that. You move on. That's exactly that's exactly how Obama can be in office for two terms and not do anything specifically for black people, and and, and we rock with them, right? We all we get is symbolic. They gave us a black president, and and we were so happy with that that we didn't even need substance the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 when, when, like, it, and then we get, uh, uh, we got Biden now, and mm -hmm. Biden promised all these things. And what, do, what have you gotten? What have nothing. you gotten? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing as a black person. Nothing that makes your life better. Nothing that improves you. Nothing to offset our history in America, right? And you say, get over, it, get over, it, get over. It. My, my parents still ain't, ain't successful. Right. Are you gonna tell them to get over it? My grandparents was not successful. Mm -hmm. You gonna tell them to get over it? My, my, my great grandmother died in a, a damn house because she didn't even have a fan. She, get, she gave it to another relative, gave them a fan, and she died of a damn heat stroke. The, and this is, this is only a few, few generations. Mm -hmm. my, my, grandmother, my grandmother had uh, died from cancer and worked all the way up until she died. Mm -hmm. She literally worked until the chemo, she couldn't work no more. Yep. My, my mother, my father, they, they, ain't, they ain't rolling in dough, not, not saying they poor and like that, but they not rolling in dough. They still got to be conscious with their money. Right. So, so for people to act like the effects of previous generation don't affect this generation. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Everything affects us. It, Everything. It, it's, it's a lie. And, and, and my thing is like, this is why though, people like that is why we get symbolic BS and we have got nothing to, to offset what has happened to us in this country, mm -hmm. to offset the being poor generation after generation. There has been nothing to offset that for our people. What's something flew in your face? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, damn, that's what on you. No. Uh, but but yeah. So I, I'm I'm just done with the topic. All right. I'm super passionate about that. Um, I get frustrated with with a lot of things in black culture. I hate gang culture. I hate oh, drug right dealers. Yes, I yes. hate the poison that we put in our own community. I hate the damage that we do to one another. And I wish that we can love on each other and fix each other. Mm -hmm. But one thing I'm not for is I'm not for other people crapping on us. Mm -hmm. And I'm not for us co-signing other people crapping yeah. on us. And I'm not for you trying to make it seem like we're the problem at every single turn when it's not the case. Like, yes. there's problems with every single race. Yes. And just like how all the stuff that you guys say, oh, that's a black person thing, they have that shit in other races, too. Yes. Just like, um, you know, when that, that whole joke about black people not having fathers. That happens at other races too. That happens to other it happens races. Other races. Tied to black Me people. and I have two. I have two coworkers at my job where we literally laugh and we call um we we have a club. I'm not gonna say the name of the club, but we the have a club. club, huh? The fatherless club. Yes, but we use a different word. Okay. But <laughs> yeah. but it's like we we have that joke. Yeah, all of us are different races. Yep. We're not the same race. It happens in every single race. We yes. all have some of the yes. same issues. It only it only sticks. It only sticks. Like if you, it's funny because like you know like stereotypes. I'm gonna be done. But you you know like stereotypes and, and racism and stuff like that toward black people. Mm -hmm. Like that's only meant to hurt black people. Like you know like yeah. with watermelons, right? The black people were selling watermelons. That's why it's a negative connotation with watermelons and mm -hmm. black people because black people were actually selling watermelons. It was profitable. And then they made it, they made it negative, right? And then they were, they, they made it like out to be this cheap fruit that black people and blah, blah. They did that to undermine it and undercut the people that were profiting heavily off of it. Mm -hmm. There's history to a lot of these jokes. Mm -hmm. That's why Aunt Jemima, I mean, it's symbolic bullshit I don't care about. That's why Aunt Jemima goes and, and changes the syrup, right? Mm -hmm. Like 
because it was based off a fucking racist stereotype. Mm -hmm. That that's that's where a lot of this stuff comes from. We are still the laughing joke, the laughing stock, and stuff like that. Now, personally. I don't give a damn if, if Aunt Jemima changed the syrup, right? <laughs> I, I don't care because I want something real, not something symbolic. Right. Aunt Jemima changing the syrup and not it being racist mean anymore. Nothing to me it does all. nothing for me. It does nothing for my mother. It does nothing for my grandma. Well, my grandmother's no longer here. I don't have any grandmothers anymore. But it does nothing for my mother and, and her, her generation mm -hmm. uh, across. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And, and Black people, we we just got to do better. We have to do better. We have to be more well versed in topics. We have to do more research. We got to stop accepting symbolic BS, and we got to stop co-signing this behavior mm -hmm. against our own. It's ridiculous. it's ridiculous. If two black people going at it, and and I agree with one and disagree with the other, that's cool. We can handle it all in house. But when I see other groups trying to paint the entire group as as this negative thing or create this narrative, I ain't with it. So that's all I really got to say on it. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm done. All right. If you made it in this video, thank you for your time. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We're actually going to be doing this video. We may do a couple more videos, but we are leaving. We are moving in January. Hopefully we're supposed to be moving in hopefully. January. So <laughs> <sighs> that's a long story. But yeah, we're supposed to be possibly moving in January. Um, we're adding another addition to our family. We're getting somebody, you know, we got a little baby on the way. But uh, yeah, with that, we're moving and stuff like that. So videos may be a little sporadic, but we want to give you all some content. Um, but yeah, if you made it to this video, thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe. For Shonda. All right. Uh, we <laughs> out of.